Okay, so once you have downloaded AppVG and started it, you will notice that your screen looks something like this. Fine, obviously there are certain things which I have worked upon, so they are coming up over here. Now you will notice that this timeline is showing over here. Timeline is not required frequently in AppVG. So what we need to do is we need to have our logic brick section over here, which we'll be discussing further how to use it. But that's the main part for these sessions that we are going to go through. So what you need to do is you need to click on this icon in the corner of this window. And from here under the scripting, you have to set it to logic brick editor. Right. Now this is where we will be developing our logic. Okay. Or writing the logic or making the logic of whatever is there. This part is required throughout the game development process or while we are designing our game. Now what is going to happen is that this thing is going to go away when you restart the AppVG. Fine. So what you need to do is you simply need to go over here in file and say defaults save startup file. Once you say the save startup file, this is what will come up when you start your AppVG next. So I'll close this window now. And now this AppVG is being opened again. Now you can see that this part is showing me the same thing. Fine. My logic bricks are coming up over here. If you want, you can simply go to defaults and say load factory settings. This will reset the whole environment to whatever it was. Only thing that you need to remember is that any other settings or other things that you might have done, those will also be lost. So that's how you can set up your basic environment for starting with a PGE.